You know how old heads like a lot of things a certain type of way? It's kind of like the old heads say, like, man, these new youngsters are so soft. They're small. They don't do anything like we used to do back in the day. We used to get things out the mud. We used to, like, wrestle and all that stuff. We used to clothesline people out there in the freaking basketball court and everything like it was a real contact sport. Peace and blessings, you ugly mofos. Welcome to another episode of He Rants. I am your host, Felix. Long trials. Man, check this out, man. This is your first time on He Rants. I'm going to let you know. I'm just a random guy. I like to talk about random stuff that interests me. And I just feel like I need to inform you guys about it. If that sounds sexy or attractive to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as with the post notifications. That way, you'll always be one of the first people to hear the voice. And at the same time, leave a like. Because I'm so damn insecure. And those likes definitely let me know I'm doing a stand-up job. Same time, got to buy the merch. Mofo. Men offering females orgasms. Because we're so... So, so, so humble. Link in the description box below. But let's not waste no more time, man. Let's get to the first story. We got to talk about this guy, Richard Barnett, right? You guys probably don't know who Richard Barnett is, right? But let me let me learn you guys a little something about this guy, right? Richard Barnett was one of the guys that were a part of the whole January 6th situation. You guys, if you guys forgot, because, you know, right now we're, we're, we're closing in on May, right? Um, January 6th, that was the day that these guys decided to run into the state capitol not the state capitol the, 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 the world cap yeah. is, 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 is it state capitol the damn capitol you know what capital i'm talking about man i don't gotta say state or whatever capital is the freaking name let me just call it national cap the capital damn it all right man so yeah so he came into the capitol and the reason why he um he's so big is off the strength of he was one of the guys that got into the speaker of the house nancy pelosi's office right and um you saw the pictures of him um, pretty much kicked up with his legs on top of the table and everything just chilling looking like looking like he just got his dick sucked right looking like he just got his dick sucked and then you know she told him like hey listen sir you gave me you know i i, I gave you the handy i gave you the dick sucking and stuff like that but do you think we can be in a relationship and he just pretty much told her i got what i wanted you know what i'm saying i got what i wanted i don't need you anymore be gone you know what i'm saying oh, oh you're you're an asshole you're a pompous you're a piece of shit it doesn't matter you still suck my wood you chopped my wood lumberjack be gone that's how he was chilling on that joint you know what i'm saying and um he the reason why a lot of people uh, actually that stormed the capitol actually got released right but he wasn't one of those people why you ask right it's because he his was specifically heinous off the surface he had the pictures first off but also because he wrote on the speaker of the house desk on a paper that is what did he say nick nick bako was was here bitch or something nick, nick bake was it nancy bigo was here b word i'm trying not to say too many of the b words and stuff because you know a lot of girls find it offensive and you're probably wondering why would girls find it offensive if you're not talking about any girls right i don't know i don't know you should ask the girls that right because to me i feel like if i'm saying the b word and you're finding it offensive it's because you must consider yourself a b word all right i don't make the rules man i, I didn't say it. you said it you don't want to find it offensive and stuff so i mean hey you shouldn't be seeing yourself if you know you're not a b word you shouldn't shouldn't care if people are saying the b word Duh. it's a little food for thought stuff but i digress i digress right but so him writing that there right you know they were letting a lot of people go just off the strength that he did all that they were just like no this guy we gotta make an example of this guy this guy gotta stay in a little bit more right so this guy of course he got lowered up and everything right his lawyer came up and said listen this is just a big misunderstanding right i i, I, I don't understand why he said that but uh, I, I guess so i guess i mean we, we got pictures of the guy on there and everything so i mean i don't I don't understand if it's a misunderstanding or if it's just you're just trying to get your guy off hey you do what you do you're doing a good job so far i guess right i i, I, I guess i guess but um he pretty much said like listen man this guy was just horsing around was playing around he had no intentions of hurting nancy pelosi he had no intention of hurting anybody we're just horsing around having a good time right by storming the capitol and such right and I, uh, if it makes sense if it makes sense um and he said he did not call her the b word right in fact he was trying to say biatch matter of fact it didn't even say what you said that it said it never said nancy big o is here you know the b word and stuff right still trying not to offend the ladies um he said it really said nancy big o was here and it said b-i-a t-d meaning uh, maybe this guy was intoxicated or something like that but they're pretty much saying that he wasn't trying to say the b word he was trying to say biatch b 
biatch. There's a difference. You know what I'm saying? You can't just say the B word because you the B word is frowned upon. But when you say biatch, it brings a little bit more humor to it, right? Uh, yeah, I, I actually felt the same way about that, right? But I called a girl back when I was in high school. I called her a biatch. And she punched me in my arm. It's crazy. Surprisingly, she didn't punch me in my face, though, right? I think maybe she knew that if she had punched me in the face, maybe she might have got hit with the, you know, with the show you can. You know what I'm saying? You know, I know guys shouldn't hit girls, but I mean, I also think girls shouldn't hit guys. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's just. Yeah, it sounds pretty bad now I'm saying it. Long story short, this guy has been denied bail. And I guess rightfully so, though, man. They should just let the guy out, man. This guy's clearly just one of those guys that's just trying to have a good time by storming capitals and stuff like that. Might be storming into random people's houses also to have a good time, right? Hey, whatever it takes to have a good time, right? You do it. Go ahead and do what you need to do. Now, this lawyer, man, he got his work cut off for him. And, hey, like I said, he's doing a great stand-up job, right? Biatch. That's a nice ring to it. We gotta talk about this guy Kodak Black. You guys know Kodak Black, man. He's been out recently. Man, he's been having a good old time, just going around doing Florida men things and stuff like that. Whatever, whatever dangerous stuff Florida people be doing, man. Florida's a whole different area, man. I don't care, man. I, you know, I'm, I'm sidetracking right now. I just gotta say, Florida's a whole different world, right? These guys are the guys who kill people on a daily basis. I know people talk about Chicago and stuff, but these guys, they pride themselves in murder murder and crime and just doing stuff that you just know off the strength that no one else in the united states is doing probably most likely not a lot of people in the, in the world are doing man you seen that freaking song with young a, young and ace and everything and he talking about who i smoke and he just started naming people who he smoked and stuff like that's savage that's savage because right now you're making it harder for your lawyer for if you guys to go to court and stuff for you guys to beat the case just off the strength that you are naming the people that you have murdered and then smoked freaking great man but listen i digress man but the reason why i'm talking about kodak black right you guys probably know back in i think in 2016 kodak black was accused of sexual assault right in south carolina where a young girl no i'm not gonna say young girl a girl of age when i say young girl sounds like some catch a predator type stuff when a girl of age accused them of being you know a little bit too touchy feely catch my drift so he came out and pled guilty to second degree battery and assault right but not the actual penetration see the thing is people on twitter has been going crazy say oh my god this guy was out here you know doing the r word to people he's out here r wording people and stuff like that and i was like no 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 no, that's not what it said at all so he just said he pled guilty to the assault and battery part him actually penetrating these girl uh the girl was not there it's not like he forcibly entered the girl and everything right i feel like everybody was focusing on that which i believe is the right thing to focus on but me when i read into it i saw straight off the rip and i'm like yo he never said that he admitted to you know being forceful and everything right but what i was shocked to what he admitted to was uh apparently biting her this guy was biting her right so I, i'm confused so i'm trying to understand was it that she did not want to have sex with him that he bit her listen listen you go ahead and then i also question because he has a grill right so did, did he bite her with or without the grill right these are these are questions i really want to know son because i'm just understand to, to to bite you guys i don't think you guys understand the the, the, the actual jet the actual act of biting somebody so i'm trying to understand was he trying to go for a hickey was he trying to turn her on go for a hickey man these girls love this aggressive stuff so i'm going to bite her or did he just watch a vampire movie and decide I'm going to bite her? Then I'm going to ask, where else did he bite her? Did he bite her booty like a cue? Because you guys know that the brothers of Omega Sci-Fi out here biting Tukas' left and right. Trust me, I've seen it. It's not a myth. It really happens. They're really out here picking up girls and biting their asses, right? Don't know where that girl's ass has been. It could have been she could have just came from uh, coming from the bathroom, from cleaning up her period blood. Or he could, she could have just came from, you know, taking a shit. You know what I'm saying? Just taking a big, strong dude, and you hear you come just biting her butt and everything. Like, you don't know where it's been at. You know what I'm saying? You don't know. She probably, if because they be doing it at parties most of the time, right? So you might think that they just, you know, she was just out there having a fun, good old time at a party and stuff. What do girls do at parties? At least black girls. Usually they're twerking on other guys, right? So what you're doing right now, you just bit on a girl's butt that has been rubbing on another guy's pelvis area. Think about that, Q's. Q's, think about that. I know you guys are nasty, but my God. My God. There's some gangrene or some type of whatever. So you guys might get herpes in the mouth. Who knows, man? Yes. yes. I don't know if herpes can be spread through the butt, but I feel like it should be. 
but this guy Kodak, he pretty much set the record straight. He's told people like, listen, man, I'm too gangster. You know, so I'm too much of a smooth dude to be out here sexually, actually sexually assaulting anybody, right? I'm not going to R-word anybody. I don't have to. I'm Kodak Black. I'm the yak. All right. He just came out so savage the way he just came out about it. So he said, listen, I don't have to register as a sex offender, right? Eat your heart out, Chris Hansen. I don't have to register as a sex offender, right? He said, me and the girl, he said pretty much him and the girl came to agreements with everything, right? I think maybe the girl came out and realized, listen, man, you didn't R-word me and everything like that, but you did cause me bodily harm. Since you caused me bodily harm, I feel like you need to admit to that. You need to admit to that and let everybody else know that you did that, right? And that for doing that, Kodak, I commend you for doing that, but I don't commend you for the acts that you did to lead up to the apology at the end of the day, right? And at the same time, how do we really know that Kodak and this girl, like, like, like we really don't know if the girl is doing this out of fear. Let's be honest, right? I mean, when you, when you really man don't hey listen ignore that static i'm still talking right i ain't scared of kodak kodak i respect you though don't kill me though because i know you haitian zoes out here you guys murder on the on the regular just for feeling disrespected i still love your music i love you as a person man i mean kind kind i don't know i don't know after this whole situation i have i don't know how i feel about you as a person but your music is your music is good you know i'll separate you from death but yeah, yeah listen man this time no static is gonna cut me off right? i'm gonna get through this so pretty much like how do we know that this girl and we're back all right man i just have to have to you know teach the the static guy a little lesson and everything right i'm pretty sure now he's going to be listening and picking the right times to put the static so like i said like just being off the fact that kodak black is from florida and everything why do we not know that he then told this girl listen you could either have me go to prison or i can set you up to be yacked Right? She's probably going to ask, what does Yak mean? Well, my name is Yak, right? And usually, you know, use your head. You think, what does Yak mean? Are, are, are you going to actually sexually assault me? Like, no, no, no. Me, me, Yak, I'm, I'm going to murder you. I'm going to murder you. I'm going to have some Haitian Zoes come to your spot, murder you, make it look like an accident or not. We don't have to make it look like an accident. We're from Florida. We can just kill you. And then we're going to make music about why we killed you and stuff like that, right? And then we're not going to get arrested for it unless you're YNW Melly. Because he's like, I think YNW Melly, he's the only dumb, dumb one that actually made the song and actually got caught up. And then, you know, he's, he's looking at life, I think, or the death sentence. I'm not sure. Either way, right? Definitely get this guy off the street just off the fact that he killed his friends, right? And for those of you guys who believe that he's being set up, you guys are idiots, all right? He clearly killed his friends. Wind up. I'm telling you, these guys in Florida, man, they're a different breed. They're a different breed. Everybody keeps talking about Chicago. These guys are something, man, man. Chicago guys will just shoot you. Florida guys will cut you open and leave you out in the street. You know what I'm saying? With your guts and everything hanging out there with a sign saying that, you know, Kevin Robinson killed you. They'll put their name and say, listen, I killed this guy. And I ain't going to do no jail time, no prison time for it. We'll let everybody know, right? Everybody's going to know it. I'm telling you, man, these guys. But yeah, man, Kodak Black, man, let's let's see. Let's see if he can finesse his way out of this situation. Because, you know, when people on Twitter get upset, they get upset. Hey, listen, we got to talk about this guy, Julius Irving. Man, you guys know Julius Irving. Dr. J, the guy, the man, the myth, the legend, the guy himself. You know, one of the guys that popularized Dunkin' and everything, right? He had the freaking afro and everything, man. The guys just fly, man. I'm not gonna lie. When I first saw Julius Irving, not Julius Irving, Kyrie Irving rather. When I first saw Kyrie Irving, I swear to God, I swore on everything that Julius Irving was, was his dad, but they spell Irving differently. But they, if you look at them, they kind of look alike. They, I, I, if he said that's my dad, I really believe it. You know what I'm saying? Like Even when he's dressed up as Uncle Drew, he kind of looked like Dr. J. I'm not gonna hold you, right? But the reason why I'm talking about this guy, man, because he usually he just had an interview on Yahoo Sports and everything, right? When he was pretty much saying who was on his all-time list, right? Then he put those in the line of like Magic Johnson, I think he put Larry Bird, Carl uh, Malone, uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and stuff like that, right? And um, I think he said Michael Jordan, of course, too. But he left out LeBron James, right? And then, you know, they're asking him, why did you leave out LeBron James? The, you know, some people believe is the GOAT, right? Which he's not. He's not the GOAT. He's definitely up there. He's definitely up there. He's second place. All right. I, you know, RIP Kobe Bryant, but he's over Kobe. I, I, honestly, I believe he's been over Kobe for quite some time now. I don't care about the rings as much. I just believe this off the strength of how good he is. I just feel like he was over Kobe in general. So Kobe is definitely third place definitely third base and at least at least in my opinion that him or what's that what's the other dude uh brian scalabrini brian scalabrini he might be number all right i'm, I'm lying with that. i'm just i'm just tired of people making fun of that guy calling him the red mamba and stuff like that like the dude he's he, he's asked for the nba 
But if you try to play Scalabrini the off off the one on one, off the off the one on one, son, he's giving you buckets. I'm talking about bu I'm talking about African buckets. And I know he's not African, but I, no, I just try to say African buckets because you know when African women be walking with the water bucket on top of their head, like that's a serious bucket. That's not no small bucket. It's so usually a very very big bucket. That's why I'm trying to let you know when I'm talking about him that he's gonna give you some serious big buckets, super buckets. But his rationale for not putting LeBron James up there was off the strength of that I don't have to put this guy LeBron on any team, right? Just off the strength that he can he can choose his own team, right? Pretty much a little slight little sneak this, right? But I'm pretty sure Dr. J still respects the game of LeBron James, right? I'm pretty much saying that, listen, man, this guy has set up the era of super teams and everything, has been pushing the super team uh, thing for the longest, right? And he's just been going from team to team. He went to he went to Miami, boom, built a super team, went back to Cleveland, built a super team. Now he went to L.A., built a super team with Anthony Davis and everything, right? And when he said that, I feel like, man, that, that makes a lot of sense, right? To some people who just started watching basketball recently, right? Which is a little bit weird for uh, Dr. J, that is. Because he knows he won his championship off the strength of a super team. He knows the guy, Moses Malone, right? Moses Malone, right? Um, he left his team. I forgot who Moses Malone played for. Was it Was it Houston, I believe? Was it Houston, I believe? Yeah, Moses Malone. Wait, wait, wait was it Houston? Yes, it was Houston, in fact, right? So, Moses Malone left his team, right? Coming off an MVP year, Moses did. And then he went to play for the 76ers with Dr. J. And that's how they won their only championship, right? So, when you look at that, wouldn't you consider that somewhat of a super team, man? You got a guy leaving at his prime to go to a team with Dr. J, which is already on. I mean, granted, Dr. J himself wasn't the one who switched teams. It was Moses Malone, right? But I'm pretty sure that he probably told Moses to come in. Hey, come play with us. Let's win a championship, right? And it worked out. I'm not sure. You know what I'm saying? And there's also a whole lot of other stories of super teams that just didn't work out. You know what I'm saying? You got the whole super team with, uh, uh, what was it? Was it Gary? Was it, was it Gary Payton? Uh... I think they had the Lakers, John. It was it was Gary Payton, Kobe. Was it Gary Payton, Kobe, and somebody else? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, man. There's a whole lot of super teams that just did not work out, right? It just so happened that LeBron, maybe off the strength that LeBron was considered the best player, you know, at the time, right? The best player in the NBA, switching to go with D Wade, who's also a top five player at the time. Maybe some some people might even say top three. You know what I'm saying? And then also you had a little splash of Chris Bosh, who's also an All Star, right? Not superstar status, but very very good in in his own you know in his own little thing and everything, right? So I mean maybe that's the argument and stuff. And then you got you know going back to Cleveland and stuff. You bring Kevin Love, you had Kyrie already, and you're going to like I mean I mean you you you, you got an argument. You got an argument. And that that set the foundation for this guy KD to be known as the snake that decided to go to Golden State and everything. Demarcus Cousin also a following. Demarcus Cousin has very very bad luck. He's not getting no rings. I think God just set it up that you are not getting any rings. Just set up like that, son. Somebody must have put some type of voodoo or hex on this guy too. I don't know what's going on with this guy, man. But he's not—he's not getting the ring. I feel sorry. I love D Boogie, man. I love Boogie. All right, but I digress, right, man? So this guy Fifty Cent, he caught wind of this, right? He just didn't like it. He just decided to say, "Listen, this is pretty much a whole old head hater vibes, right? That this guy's giving off, right? He's just an old head, just not liking on the new era, the new game that is, right? And it's funny, right? Because I respect Fifty Cent just off the fact that Fifty Cent is known as the King Troll, but I feel like this guy must be a diehard LeBron James fan, and he must love what LeBron James has done to the NBA and everything, which is definitely understandable. Definitely understandable, man. This guy, uh, LeBron, has definitely brought a certain type of swagger to the NBA. Not like MJ, not like MJ, but he's definitely done his thing in the NBA. Uh, therefore, I mean, a lot of people are saying he might have made the NBA a little bit soft, but uh, I, don't, I don't, I don't think I agree with that, man. This guy, LeBron James, is what 250 pounds. At one point, I swear he was like 275 pounds, man. Just a monster of solid muscle, just running through people. If you guys want to consider that he made the NBA soft and he's soft himself, man, you guys, hey. I ain't boxing him. I don't think Dr. J is necessarily hating, man. I think Dr. J is somewhat spitting facts, right? You know how old heads like a lot of things a certain type of way? It's kind of like the old heads say, like, man, these new youngsters are so soft. They're small. They don't do anything like we used to do back in the day. We used to get things out the mud. We used to, like, wrestle and all that stuff. We used to clothesline people out there in the freaking basketball court and everything. Like, it was a real contact sport and everything. Which I feel like is somewhat of a myth. If you guys actually saw a lot of replays, man, I saw some calls that were, like, very, very soft little baby type talk calls, man. I don't know. For some reason, they just keep showing you the heart. I mean, I'm not going to lie. They were definitely having some hard fouls. They were getting away with some hard falls back then too, so I mean it's 50-50. But I've seen some very questionable, soft baby, little baby touch calls, bro. I'm not gonna hold you, right? 
So I'm wondering this guy 50 cent he might just be triggered right he might just be triggered but a lot of people are saying 50 cent why are you getting so upset at this right you at your own in your own breath you can somewhat be a hater right just off the fact of how you troll on everybody right but here's the thing i've come to 50 cent defense to say this he's not a hater son he has shown love to people who are up and coming look at pop smoke man. he was showing almost so much love to pop smoke what am i saying so much love to this guy pop smoke maybe because pop smoke was pretty much there the reincarnation of him while he's still alive and such if that, if that makes sense and then he also he also liked six nine right i know that didn't that didn't really age well and then he also liked uh who else, who else he liked he liked he he like he likes he likes he likes some all right I, ca I can't think of that many people off the top of my head but i'm pretty sure he there's, there's a few guys that he likes there's definitely a few guys that he likes but listen man he also even said that, listen, LeBron is one of a kind, man. Uh, what makes him special is there's only one of him, right? Uh, it's not like we ha if, if he wasn't like that good, there would probably be a few more people, right? There might be a few more LeBrons out there, but there's no one else like LeBron. LeBron is his own type of guy. And I feel like there's no one else like Michael Jordan. That's just me, though. I feel like there's no one else like Michael Jordan. Kobe's like Michael Jordan. So I'm saying, so you can say that. I mean, wait, that just contradicted what I said. But I mean, he... He based his game up, but he's still not Michael Jordan. You know what the hell I'm saying, bro. F that, man. You know what the hell I'm saying. I'm not going to backtrack on what I said. The hell? It's my show. Biatch. But that's all the news I got for today, man. If you stay this long, man, I appreciate you. I love you, man. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as with the post notification. That way, you always be one of the first people to hear the voice. Same time. Leave a like because I'm so damn insecure and I need those likes to let me know I'm doing a stand-up job. And that way, YouTube can spread my videos out there to the masses and at the same time you gotta buy the merch mofo men offering females orgasms because we're so humble link in the description box below that's all i gotta say peace and blessings you ugly mofos and i'm out uh, 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 uh.